that's sort of the the last step of your process. What have you learned over the course of your career? And what can you share with our audience here today that can make their presenting of ML results simpler, easier, more effective than it is today? Right. And so I've learned a lot over the course of my career, and I'm hoping that current data science students have it a whole lot easier because when you're getting a master's degree in statistics, you're, you learn that presenting model results, because you know we build logistic regression models, nothing fancy, but in the end, it was very much, hey, you know, when you present results, you should be talking about the data, the results themselves, you create a summary, you talk about the methodology, and that was sort of it. And it was very scientific. And then I got to industry and I realized that it doesn't fly in business at all. And you need to think a little bit more strategically about how you set up these decks. And a lot of times you're not even talking about the methodology in a technical sense. You're making these things friendly. You might not talk about, you know, all the data, um, the results. You're certainly not posting them the way that you would in a technical presentation. Like if you put coefficients and p-values on a slide, you can completely derail a meeting with p-values and never get that meeting back. And like the p-values weren't actually, you know, uh, relevant to the meeting at all. It didn't necessarily make a difference. If the model's doing what it's supposed to be doing, like they don't need to know that the p-value was, you know, 0.02. Um, yeah. Another thing that I did, you know, way back in the beginning of my career was I honestly, I, I was building um, neural net models to forecast hourly electric load. And I put up. Sounds simple, Kristen. 